Hey, you, wake up. Come on, up. What in Hades is going on here? Huh? What? Apologies. I must have fallen asleep. No shit. <laughs> really? Do that again, soldier, and you'll be our next customer. Sir. Sleeping at your post. It's punishable by death. But then, most things are these days. It won't happen again, sir. For your sake, I hope not. How long have you been here, son? Uh, since early this morning. What's your name? Uh, Cato, sir. My name is Cato. Well, Cato, I'm Marcus. You'll be working with me today, so be prepared to work hard. Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me for asking this, but what is it that we do here exactly? Hey, that God, you are green, aren't you? I dispense justice, Roman style. Don't you know where you are? This is Crucifixion Hill. Oh, so this is it? I usually... We do this earlier in the day, but there was a problem down in the square we had to deal with first. A couple of soldiers deserted last night. When we searched the town, the locals resisted. Not a good move. There's lots of fresh dead down there this morning. <laughs> and these deserters? Did they catch them? One of them. And you'll get to meet them soon. It'll be him, us, and two pieces of wood. How long before they get here? Oh, it shouldn't be too long now. Of course, they might stop to flog him occasionally. Depends on what mood the centurion's in. So it'll be soon. Well, if they're coming today, yeah. Seven inch nails, standard issue. They're so large. Yeah, well, they need to be, don't they? There's a lot of flesh and bone to go through. Look, son, let me explain to you how this works. A prisoner brings the crossbeam, we do the rest. He doesn't get up there by himself, you know. And we have to put these through his hand? His hand? No, no, not the hand. That's a common rookie mistake. You, no, you pound it through the wrist. It's stronger and keeps them there longer. And how long does it take before they... Ah, uh, well, now, that depends on how you do it. If you put their arm over their head, well, they're dead within the hour. They just can't breathe. But outstretched is the best. That way they can last four days. So how do they actually die? Well, suffocate. Once the legs give out the weight and moves onto the arms, and that pulls the shoulders right out of their sockets. It's quite a sight. You are in for a treat there. Then the rip cage lifts up and they can't breathe out, so they choke. Absolutely barbaric. But you never know. They might get lucky and die before. Their heart could give out, or they could die of exposure, blood loss. All sorts of stuff could happen. Oh, but sometimes they just voluntarily surrender up their lives. It's kind of peaceful. And it happens more often than you think. Yeah, it's complicated and there's a lot to learn, but I'll tell you one thing, son. Stay in this business, and you'll always have a job. We won't be going out of work soon. I guarantee it. Where in Hades is that rope from last time? Maybe they won't do it today? Maybe there won't be anyone coming up here? Well, I wouldn't mind that either. We could go back to the garrison early, get some food that's actually warm, piss someplace that's not in the open. Yeah, that'd be all right by me. Hey. Maybe this is our lucky day. I hope so. Or maybe not. Damn. I can see a procession down there. Yes, they're heading this way, forcing some poor bugger up the hill. <laughs> it looks like just the one. Must be deserter. Well, looks like we've got our work cut out for us after all. You shouldn't have said anything, son. Now the gods are toying with us. There'll be no warm dinner tonight. How many of these have you done? Oh, I don't know. I've lost count. Hundreds, I guess. How about you? Well, actually, this is my first. 
your first he gods, a virgin. Great. I ask for help and they send me a virgin. Wonderful. Marcus, can you tell me something? Why do we do this? Why? Because we're soldiers. We obey orders. No, no, no. I mean, why do we put them through all this? Why not just kill them right away with no suffering? Suffering is the whole point, son. They're supposed to die in agony. That's the way it works. But why? Well, because of whatever it is they did against the emperor. We don't want them to just die nice and easy. No, no, we want them to die slow and painful and in public. That way, it's a lesson for everyone else. Don't do whatever it was that that poor bugger just did, or you'll die like that too. Now, if they're too stupid to understand that morning, well, then they get what they deserve. Why do you ask? Oh, I don't know. Just trying to figure it all out, I guess. This is so brutal. Why'd we invent this in the first place? We didn't. We, we just borrowed it from the Assyrians. Cultural appropriation at its finest. <laughs> we shouldn't be doing this. What's the matter? Haven't you killed before? Well, yes, but not like this. Well, we're soldiers. That's what we're here for. The only question is when and where. In a time of crisis, you either fight and die like a soldier, or you flee like a coward. How can anyone kill in cold blood? We're executioners. Society needs us. Society needs cold-blooded killers? Well, the emperor does. And I've got news for you, son. We're stuck here until they're dead. We can't go until then. And let me tell you, sometimes it takes them forever to die. What do you do after? What? With the bodies. Oh, Pete's B. Hey, once they've snuffed it, I'm heading back for a hot cup. Of. Who cares what happens to them? Don't worry about it. Just show up on time, do your job. Oh, and by the way, you've got to be careful where you stand. Oh, man, they can puke and shit all over. I mean, you'd be surprised. Best to check which way the wind's blowing before you find a place. Oh, and You'll know it's nearly over when they get the shivers near the end. They don't last long after that. They're almost here. Good. We can finish off this poor bugger and get back to... He's not just some poor bugger. He has a name. It's Tiberius. How do you know what his name is? I know. Because he's my brother. Your brother? Oh, why... God, you're the one they're looking for. You're the other deserter. Yes. What are you doing here? This is where we crucify deserters. I know. And I need your help, Marcus. Me? Oh, no. To try to save him now would be suicidal. They're almost here. Go on, flee. As far away as you can. Maybe they'll never catch you. And leave my brother to die alone? I can't do that. Well, this is your last chance, Cato. Go while there's still time. Don't worry, I'll talk my way out of it. No, that won't work. I have a better idea. Let me cut you on the arm. What? Nothing severe. It'll heal, but it'll leave a wound and it'll look like you put up a fight to stop me. It'll protect you. Well, yeah, okay. That makes sense. I guess. All right, let's do it. Uh, nothing severe. Nothing severe. Are you ready? Ready. And Marcus, thank you for everything. What the fuck? As you told him yourself. In a time of crisis, you either die like a soldier or flee like a coward. Well, I've made my choice, Marcus. He's my brother. And I'll either free him or I'll join him. <laughs>